Hello, welcome back to my channel. I will be doing my makeup today, and I am gonna start off with my eyebrows, cleaning them up. I'm gonna use the Flamingo eraser. And I'm just get this area. I was trying to do the start trick. I just but I'm too scared. Take them off. I have a lot of hair. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna put some oils in my hair. I'm gonna use the Biloxi Salon Color and Care Bottle Restorative Hair Serum and I used three bobs <laughs> and I'm gonna add it here because believe it or not when you do bleach your hair and you put colors it does get really dry yes I don't know where I have a brush. But I'm just gonna leave it like that. And when it gets like more um dry, I'll brush it. So yes. Right now I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow. Uh, oh here it is. I'm gonna put on my bandana. Or whatever this is called. And I'm just gonna do a very casual look. I'm gonna start off with the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the color blue. Nude. I was gonna say blue. In the color nude. And I'm gonna use my oh brush first seasons and then I need a foundation brush <laughs> foundation brush and I'm just gonna place it on my face a little dot and then blend it all out I like this foundation because texture is not as heavy as the wet and wild one so it like moves around more mm, this is oil free and last time I checked uh, I don't know I was pretty oily But I was doing a lot of things that day, so I think it looks really white on camera. When I put it on, then it oxidizes. Mm -hmm. I think it's. Good. I like to blend it with this leather brush. Where is it? Just 
toothbrush. It's like a toothbrush. And I just like to blend it. Yeah. So this is what it looks like on my face. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. And I got, oh, actually, I got this um, real techniques silicone liner brush at the 99 cent store and it was it's okay it was good for like the outlining of the eyebrow here so I'm gonna try to use that again and uh, for the eyebrows I'm just gonna try to finish the um, BH Cosmetic Ray Ray it's a bronzer and brown I'm gonna use it in my eyebrows I'm using a flat brush and uh, I just start from the middle upwards and then I dip it in again and do the other eyebrow the middle upwards and then I am gonna scratch her nose <laughs> um, just keep blending it quite dark and then I'm just gonna blend it in where it's kind of like this weird motion like brushing it and then I'm just gonna go corner up and sweep it up and then the same way this way and don't worry if it's messy you can just use a silicone brush to clean it all up with foundation and as you can see you got my eyebrows got thicker and I'm just gonna use the silicone brush that just means like this little thing it's just made out of silicone I thought it was a brush so whatever's left from those I'm just gonna outline my eyebrows below outline him and then it cleans it up so you don't over add foundation just kind of use what's left yay so I went to get my pedicure and I got a pink color. I was gonna ask for pose to see what color I should get, but I was too uh, nervous, so I just kind of forgot. Um. So these are my eyebrows and next I'm gonna just add a color to my lid and I'm gonna use a BH Cosmetics one because I'm trying to get rid of the brown, the mousse one. So I just add it all over my lid. Um, and I just kind of actually not not all over my lid just on my crease just to contour the eyelid and I'm so sad that I finished this palette but you know it's okay I have more to come I just really like this brown then I just do circular motions circular motions And then I 
oranges kind of blend in and call it a day. And you can see it's pretty nice. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna add a like lip color. And I'm gonna use a very creamy one, which is this pink one. Just to hydrate my lips. And use it as a base because I don't really like the color. And then I'm gonna add a red tint oh well it doesn't even open anymore so red tint which is i have this cat one d one motorhead and i really like the studs and i'm just gonna mix it this one's really creamy too it's just very bold if you just add it like that so this it became like a raspberry color. I don't mind it. It's really cute. It's kind of hmm K-pop vibes. So I'm just gonna add a highlighter and I'm gonna use a navy and I'm gonna use my fingers, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose corner of my eye my cheekbones I mean and I'm just going to try to blend it so it looks well not that white because it's, it's quite light but it does pop as you can see and this is like my everyday look I just kind of tend to gravitate to these colors and I'm just going to add it to the lid of my in the corners to open it up the bottom and uh this brightens it my dark circles uh, I'm just gonna like try to blend it and then like I'm just gonna add the wing with the um, elf cosmetics oh I left it open so then I just kind of like try to go as close to the eyelash line and then it just goes two, three, four, five and then bring it six, dip it in again then connect the edge seven and then fill it in and that's my wing it's a long wing but it's gonna do the same thing to the other side corner the edge The wing connected to the rest of it. I kind of go backwards on the this eye, or it just depends, I guess. And then like, usually this eye comes out better, better, and then I just kind of like try to mimic it. If not, I just kind of don't care. Just leave it. So I'm just gonna use. curler once it's dry I guess and then I just go and curl them oof that's cute curled again 
And I got it everywhere, so I should have waited. But it's getting chips. I'm getting chips. I'm just gonna wipe it off. <laughs> this one dried faster, of course, because I did it first. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like add a bottom smoking effect with a, another color, like orange. And that one's called Sunset. And the same flat brush, I just kind of use it. Uh, over the bottom, it just completes the eye look better. And I blended and blended and blended and blended. I've seen that the Japanese uh, bring it down. I kind of want to do that right now. So I'm just going to bring it down in this corner. And then uh, bring it down. Like blend it. just adding another color called Friday even though it's not Friday but it's like a purpley tone on the corner of it and then on the bottom of the eyeliner just kind of like adding, like adding some more color and then bringing it down and then I'm just kind of like going downwards so, yeah, that's how it looks. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of blush. And I'm going to use the Sephora blushes from their palettes. And I'm going to use this pink one. I don't know what it's called, but I really like it. It's like a bubble gum. The apples on my cheeks. Matting it. Then the bottom, the corner, the bottom part of my nose. I'm using a large brush. So then I. Uh, I think that's enough blush. And then I'm gonna add the um, brown Maybelline as usual. My eyebrows. This one has like a brush that's more circular. I don't know, kinda like it. And then I'm just going to use oops, this powder. Um, I'm going to use a fan brush. And I'm going to add powder underneath my eye um, circle, under eye circle. And my highlight. And I'm going to set it under my nose. And then I can't really know if I should add more highlighter, the Fenty one, but not today. I think I'm just going to be basic, at least for me, basic. And add the Luminous, Vol Voluminous False Fiber Lashes mascara. 
in 20 minutes. I take forever. And then at the bottom. And this is uh, the look. I'm gonna take off my headband. And as you can see, this is the look. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I also like and comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.